You're listening to the Functional Nurse Podcast. And on this episode, I answer the question, can a registered nurse become certified in functional medicine? So stay tuned. Hello, nurses, and welcome to this episode of the Functional Nurse Podcast. My name is Bridget Sager, and I'm your host. I am a functional medicine nurse practitioner, and I teach functional medicine for nurses and nutrition for nurses through the Integrative Nurse Coach Academy in partnership with the Institute for Functional Medicine. And today's question that I seek to clarify for you is whether a registered nurse or a nurse practitioner can become certified in functional medicine. And this is a common question. Of course, most of these episodes are questions I get often. And I think it's an important one for us to talk about when we're talking about nurses stepping into the role of holistic nursing and functional medicine in a uh, more substantial way and recognizing our ability to impact the healthcare system's journey to improving from this sick care system to a true healthcare system. And I've often had students ask me, and I have an episode where I talk about this a little more, if you want to look back, when can I call myself a functional medicine nurse or what should I call myself? And the example that I always use that I'm going to use to establish the beginning of this episode as well is if you work in an emergency department and you have been there either three months or 20 years and somebody asks you what you do for a living what is your answer? I'm a registered nurse. I work in an emergency department. Or you might say, I'm an emergency nurse. Uh, an ICU nurse might say they're an ICU nurse. A school nurse is a school nurse. But you can also, as a nurse, go on and become board certified in the particular specialty that you work in. So you can become a board certified emergency room nurse, a critical care registered nurse with that certification, progressive care certification for cardiovascular care nurses. A school nurse can become board certified. And uh, recently, in the last uh, decade, we have seen this rise in popularity of nurse coaching, and that subsequently developed a nurse coaching board certification for nurses. And the benefit of us becoming board certified in where we work and what we practice is that it validates our education and knowledge. It gives us some uh, credentials behind our name. An example for me is I think that one of my strong skills as a nurse is as an educator. So I got a board certification as a nurse educator, a CNE. And I, I did this because I want you to know that I take education seriously. And I think it's an important skill for me to continue to work on and develop. It's my responsibility as an educator to be sure that I am providing information to students in a way that is meaningful and works for them. And so that is why I chose to do that. And I, in the past, when I worked on a medical surgical unit and then a, as a, a PCCN was what I got when I worked in cardiac care and float ICU. And I am a board certified family nurse practitioner. All of these are tests that we take as a nurse to become board certified. And now in functional medicine, there is not a board certification for nurses yet. And it is on my list. I have a lot of things that I, I'm juggling, just graduated from school with my doctorate. And so it is definitely on my list to advocate for this and to play as much of a role in it as I can. But at the moment, there is not a board certification for nurses in functional medicine. And we have been asked at Inca before why our course doesn't have a certification at the end. And we call it a certificate program. You get a certificate that you get that you did your continuing education hours, right? Like you get your CE certificate, but you also get a certificate of completion because it was a, a big, robust course and you gained a lot of knowledge. But it's validating that you completed all the requirements for the course. Now, any course can come up with their own certification. So they can come up with a test at the end of their course, or they can find some certifying body that has nothing to do with nursing, and they can create a certification for you. It is not a board certification in nursing. It is that program's way of marketing their course so that it feels more uh, 
respectable at the end, but in reality, the fact that it hasn't been created in a way that would upstand the rigor of a nursing board certification is, for me, a reason not to do it. I don't want to get certifications from programs that come up with their own certification tests. And sometimes that is the case. And I will give you an example. Uh, when I was really interested in women's hormone health before I left primary care, I found that there was not a certification for nurses in this topic. I sought education. I was learning a lot of functional medicine at the time. And I found that the North American Menopause Society had a board certification that many gynecologists and obstetricians work towards and carry that title. And I decided to get that board certification. And I will tell you, learning functional medicine actually made the test kind of tricky because the test is based on the allopathic guidelines that, to me, don't promote optimal wellness. And so I did have that board certification and I kept it until it lapsed recently. And I decided to let it lapse because I didn't feel that it defined who I was as a provider anymore and as a nurse. And I don't feel that the way that they promote caring for women that are experiencing hormone balances is what I want to offer my patients. So I feel confident that in the future, there'll be something that aligns better with nursing and with functional medicine. In the meantime, that is on the back burner for me. And my goal isn't just to rack up a bunch of titles. It's the things that I want to have some credibility in. And as a result, I scheduled myself to take the holistic nursing board certification because I feel like that is the nursing certification that aligns closely with functional medicine. And I think if you have studied functional medicine and nurse coaching in particular, if you look at the questions for that test, they, I, I think that once we've done programs where we learn functional medicine and holistic nurse or nurse coaching, I think that we're ready to take that test. Uh, we all have different levels of needing to study before tests. But I feel like most of us are really well prepared to call ourselves holistic nurses. And it is a really great way to validate that by becoming a board certified holistic nurse. So that's something that you might consider if you're a nurse practitioner the uh, the American Holistic Nurses Credentialing Corporation that does all the holistic nursing certification and nurse coaching certification offers different versions of the test and certification based on whether you are a holistic nurse, a bachelor's prepared holistic nurse, a master's prepared holistic nurse, or a nurse practitioner. So that's something you might want to look into at ahncc.org. And that is an option for certification. Beyond that, I will just say, and you've probably heard me say this before, that if you're going to be certified in functional medicine away from nursing, IFM has created the most rigorous certification. I've heard wind that they're changing the process, and so people have been asking me questions. I know they're changing the process, but it, what that's going to look like a year from now, I do not know. I know that it's going to continue until the third quarter of 2025 is the current uh, information that we have, and we don't really know what the changes are. So if you're in the process of becoming certified through them, you might want to either plan to go ahead and complete that before that timeline or to get more information and make that determination once they tell us more in the coming months. So I think, you know, you can become IFMCP, the IFM board certification. What I know from working in functional medicine in the time that I have is that when clinics or healthcare facilities are looking for for people to hire. So if you're not going to have your own practice and you want to be able to work in a clinic setting or get hired by a corporate healthcare system as a holistic or functional nurse, having the IFM training and that certification behind your name is a big deal for that. It's a big selling point. And so until there is a board certification specifically in functional nursing or functional medicine for nurses, I think that that is the best step that you can take one caveat to RNs getting certified through IFM and getting the IFMCP certification is that the testing is created specific for providers. So it is primarily questions that are geared towards physicians, nurse practitioners, and PAs. And many of my students have gone on to do their certification through IFM and take the full program 
But I think that ideally we will have a certification in the future that is specifically more geared towards nursing scope of practice for RNs and possibly nurse practitioners. But I think that ultimately nurse practitioners getting the IFM certification can really be beneficial when we're looking at potential for employment in the future because many companies are looking for specifically IFMCP certified prescribing providers. And so having a nurse practitioner that is certified through IFMCP could be an asset for them in the future if they're looking to work for a corporate healthcare system or for someone other than themselves. So that is certainly a consideration. And I am really optimistic that in the future, as soon as possible, I'm certainly going to do my best to work on it, that we will have a certification that is more specific to RNs versus them having to do the full IFM prescribing provider type certification. You can also choose to do the holistic board certification, which I think is a great option also. And you have likely, if you've been learning holistic nursing for very long, you've likely already done a program that qualifies you for that. So I would definitely look at ahncc.org to take a look at the requirements for the holistic nursing certification and consider that for yourself. And I hope that this was clarifying for you and that maybe it gave you some ideas of what steps you want to take next. And until next time, be well. Thank you for tuning in for this episode of the Functional Nurse Podcast. If you want to help spread the word about the powerful role nurses can play as true healers using functional medicine practices, consider sharing an episode with a nurse friend or on social media. And click the subscribe button to stay informed of newly released episodes. You can also visit and share the links below in the show notes for more information on nursing resources and the Functional Medicine for Nurses course offered through the Integrative Nurse Coach Academy in partnership with the Institute for Functional Medicine.